How's it going, y'all? This is Brad Royball, and we are looking at Lesson 4.4. So this one, um, I'm not even sure of the name. I believe it's called Shopping List. And it gives us this very first part of the question, which is a shopping cart. And this is a multi-layered list. You can see we have three different lists within this list itself. Um, and we want to allow the user to perform three uh, basic uh, operations with this list. The first is going to be, and I'm just taking this from the prompt and reading it real quick. The first user input is update. The second is view item and the third is view list. So this prompt is just a little bit confusing because it doesn't really tell you like how to set this program up in particular, but I started by doing um, kind of if statements like this. And you can see the uh, editor I'm using is flagging me uh, terribly, but you can see that'll change in just a second when I'm setting this up. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to start right here with user input and I just say input, what would you like to do? And I take that into the string. And then right here, you can see my very first prompt is just gonna say if user input, and actually I'm gonna say user input equals view item. So we can see that very first prompt that they gave us or that very first user input that the prompt gave us, we're gonna put in what you want us to do. So we want to view item. And if view item, I'm gonna do something in that subsequent part. So here I will just say um, input because that's kind of what I'm gonna do. And that'll that'll take shape in just a minute and you will understand that. And here I'm gonna say user input is equal to, and here I wanna say if user input is view um, list. And then finally, um, I'm gonna put input right here one more time. And I'm just doing these second inputs so I can kind of get the uh, editor to stop flagging me quite as much because I wanna be able to work without seeing all that editing. I could of course disable it, but you know, I'm lazy. Encoding is all about making it so that we don't have to be lazy. And then finally, if my last thing, you can see I'm doing this in a really odd way, but don't worry about it. If the user chose to say update, then I'm gonna do something. And basically what I'm doing in each of these is I'm just simply saying if the user wants to do this input and here is almost like a, a mini function, right? We're not building functions, but it's basically saying if statement, it's going to do a specific thing. So what I'm doing here is saying input, I'm going to ask the user another question. If they want to view an item, I'm going to say user list input is equal to this. So for it specific item the way that the prompt reads and the way that i'm interpreting it is that if the user wants to view a specific item they have to tell us first the list and then second they have to tell us the item itself in that list and in a view list it's simply just that prompt but shorter so they just have to tell us in the second input what list they want to print right so here for user list input i'm going to say input uh what list would you like to view an an item from I always leave that little space right at the end of my prompts just to give the user a little bit of space before they start typing so they aren't kind of like conjoined. Um, and then I'm also going to say user item input equals, and I'm gonna steal the input line that I already have. I say input, what item would you like to view? And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that sentence short right there. Theoretically, they're gonna give me two integers, right? They're gonna give me a selection of a number. So I'm also gonna add int to convert my input on both cases from a string which the user will provide in the uh, Python interpreter is going to interpret into an integer. And at the very end, I'm going to print the item that they chose. So here, the item that I chose is gonna be shopping cart, the list, and then it's gonna be a user list input uh, minus one. I'm gonna do another one, user um, item input minus one, right? And we're doing this minus one because our list indexes always start at zero. The users in a lot of cases don't know that, right? Like if I tell you I wanna see the first item of a, little, of a list, you might put in the number one. But that's not always the first item. In code, our first item, in Python specifically, I should say, our first item will always start at zero. So here, if I print it out, it should give the user what they want, which is uh, if they said, you know, I want the first item of the first list, they should get toothpaste, right? Whereas in our code, that's gonna be zero, zero. So here in view list, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. And I'm actually just gonna rip this code from what we've already done. I'm gonna say user list input equals list. Input, what list would you like to view? And so I'm gonna cut out all that. 
and then simply put, we're just gonna say uh, user list uh, input. Well, let's go ahead and restart that. I'm gonna say shopping cart, and I'm just gonna give it user list input minus one. Simple enough. Um, finally, our last part, um, and here I'm just gonna print a placeholder so I stop getting a little notification, but here in user input, we want update. We're gonna allow the user to actually choose what item they wanna change. So I'm gonna rip some code from my view item, and that's gonna allow me to do some things specifically. Um, and I'm just going to use user list input, user item input. Um, and it says, what list would you like to update an item from? And I'm going to ask them what list, what list item they would like to update. Can't talk today. Here we're going to say user uh, update value equals input. And this one we don't need to turn into int because it can just be a string. Um, and I'm going to say, what would you like the new value to be? And then down here, um, I'm gonna print, I'm gonna be printing this because I wanna see what it actually is gonna be after. So here, I'm actually gonna take this. I think this will be much more advantageous. I might as well see the entire list just so it'll give me kind of a better uh, view on it. But I'm also going to say shopping cart. And I'm gonna say, um, you know what? Again, there's no reason for me to not copy and paste actually from above. It's gonna be equal to user update value, right? So now I kinda of just wanna test it out. I'll just go ahead and run it. Here if I click run lesson 4.4, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna do view item. So I'm going to put in view item. We're already telling it's working uh, at least in the if statements because it's going down to that second level prompt. So it's gonna say what list would I like to view an item from, number one. What item would I like to view? Number two, when I press this, I should get Q-tips. And you can see I do. So I get Q-tips as my final answer for that, which is awesome. If I go ahead and start the code again, uh, user input equals view list. Oh, and it's having me type in the wrong area. It's giving me that correct prompt. What list would I like to view? I just want to view list three, and it's going to give me that third list. Now, remember, we're saying list minus one. So in reality, in the Python code, it's giving me list at index two rather than at index three because there is no index three. Finally, if I click uh, play over here, oh, I don't care. What would I like to do? Um, I want to update. And after that, it's going to say what list would I like to update from. I want to update item number two and I want to change it to um, Brad. And you can see here, so if it's list one, that's going to be toothpaste, Q-tips, milk. If I want to change item number two, it should change from Q-tips to Brad. If I click enter, it prints out that list afterwards with this toothpaste, Brad, and milk, which is exactly how we want it to operate. And that, folks, is how you do the first part of lab 4.4. Uh, uh, please tune into my next part of uh, this lesson or unit four playlist to see how you can complete the uh, next part of our lab 4.4. Thank you guys very much.